um, you see certain buildings that they've written stop work with red paint meaning these people have not gone to the assembly hello welcome to my channel once again once again um thank you for always um clicking on my videos and watching commenting and liking i thank you so much um it's like you've given me a christmas present and i've seen some of my videos really doing well and i thank you so much please don't stop keep watching my videos and comments whatever you think i thank you so much um today i'm here to basically talk about you know previously um i posted some videos about you buying land in ghana um i think i gave top five uh, things that you need to do so that you can be able to buy genuine land in ghana i think i also went on to tell you what to do next that's um, getting your land documents and after that um, the architectural designs that you are going to do so um, i will make sure i put the links to all these videos below this particular video in the, in the description so that you can if you haven't watched those videos you can go there and watch all these videos so that you can understand this particular part or you can easily follow this particular part that i'm bringing you so today i'm here to talk about um after you have done all that buying your land getting your land document doing your architectural designs the next thing for you to do is to take your design to the district assembly you know in ghana everywhere that um, you have your land it is actually under a particular district or municipal or metropolitan assembly so um when you buy like when you are done with your your architectural designs basically um if the architect or the um the draft man is done with all that and he gives you the um the architectural designs and everything what you need is a photocopy of your site plan and your indenture so you add up that to the architectural designs then you take it to the districts the district assembly basically wherever you bought your land so it, it could be under the accra metropolitan assembly or um somewhere in the central region somewhere in the eastern region somewhere in the ashanti region wherever you find your land or your land is situated that's where the assembly that you are going to take your um your documents to well, like when you go there um, what you need to do is just look for or ask for assessment of the design that you are going to be building you understand so you have the drawings in your hand you take it to the assembly you ask for that and they are going to give you the cost of everything that's like from fence wall to the design to every tax every money that you are going to pay they are going to break it down in that particular paper and give it to you present it to you and give you the total so that will be the money that you are going to pay for the assembly they some assemblies um, um like basically they charge based on per square meter so they have a price for it um i think some assemblies to do it differently so you go there they will do the calculations and they will present the thing to you that this is your total cost of, and you will see the breakdown and everything so after that um if you are ready at that particular moment with your money you can give them the document and make payment so that um they can start the process for you mind you um what actually happens is that um every in every quarter of the year the district assembly and um, and the and the planners and everybody in the assembly they go for meetings every quarter of the year and that is where they decide to approve these drawings you understand so for instance let's say we are starting the year january um the time that they will go for this setting will be in march you understand and they will go for the next one in june 
you understand and the next one too will be in september and the last one will be in december that's what they usually do so when you take your drawings to these people um know the time and know that um it is co every quarter that they go for these meetings so be before they go for these meetings, that is when they are going to approve your de designs for you. What actually happens is that some people want their stuff very fast to be done for them, like within two weeks. They just want them to do it for them. So if you want them to do it within under two, like within two weeks for you, then your cost will definitely go up a bit than the usual. You understand? So you are you are basically going to pay extra for them to do that for you and when you pay that money they are going to do it for you under two weeks so bear that in mind so basically that is it when uh, you are able to pay and you uh, like you pay for the fast track that's the two weeks then within two weeks when you call them they might tell you they are done so um go in for your document and the moment you go in for your document um i think like i think that will be it basically they will give you certificates and you will see your drawings to being stamped i will show you how um the stamps and all these things and, and the document how it looks like yes so basically you they will stamp everything and let you know that you are but i'm basically showing you how the document looks like um this these are the certificates you see government of ghana these are the certificates um this is how the certificate like the back of, of one of the certificates this is a jacket this is actually called jacket so this is one of the certificates this is how it looks like yes and in someone's document i don't want to show the name so um Forgive me if I'm not showing too much details. These are the drawings. And the drawings too, um, after approving it, they will keep two at their office. That's the district assembly office. They will keep two and they will give you two. You understand? They will keep two and give you two. It's, 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 it's mostly four copies. That's what you take to the assembly. But after approving it, they will keep two in the archives and give you two give back to you two of the comp like two copies basically yes yeah, so this is the whole thing lest i forget um they will take you to when you go there they will take you to the site that's where your land is situated to go and check the land and do assessment there before they also come to the office so and that one too usually you pay something it's not that much though but you pay something before they take you to the site they do all these assessments then they bring you back to the office so that you you continue the process yes so that's another thing so basically when your design is ready when you go there and they tell you your design uh, like your documents are ready they've stamped everything then you have the free will to do what to go to site and start work mm -hmm. if you don't do that that is when um perhaps if you're Ghanaian and you've seen this mostly um, you see certain buildings that they've written stop work with red paint meaning these people have not gone to the assembly or they've built on maybe waterways or they or they've built on roads or they've built like something is off that's why these things have been written on the um on the properties on some of the properties yes so um basically that is it and um these certificates that they are going to give you you are going to make photocopies of them and keep them on site when you start building so whenever these people are going around and when they come you will show it to them that like when they approach the site and they are demanding for that you are, you will show it to them and let them know that you've come to the assembly for the permit like for that permit approval you understand so hey basically that is it and you just start work peacefully and you will not have any problem yes so thank you so much for watching this video thank you